Hi everyone, today I've got a review on the Crossley record player. Um, I bought this for my wife and she wanted something that she could play her records on that looked cool and looked pretty retro, which it certainly does. Um, this is the blue version, I'm not sure if it's showing how blue it is actually on the camera, it kind of looks kind of a lot paler than it is in real life, but it's quite a bright blue. Um, again, I'll put a link to this in the link below where I got this off Amazon so you can see the colour. Um, so this is kind of like a briefcase style record player and it isn't very expensive at all. I can't remember again exactly how much it costs, but I think it was around sort of 40, 50 pounds. Again, I'll put a link below. Um, and it's quite a nice case. You know, it's got this chrome effect on the side. It's got these spill speakers uh, built in here and the handle and stuff. Um, it doesn't weigh very much. It's not particularly heavy, um, but it does look nice from the outside, the way that's been, been made and presented. Um, so it's got this little latch and you can open it up and inside you kind of got this kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, suede finish inside which is quite nice. It's got, this has got a lot of dust in it this particular one because my wife's had it open. Because um, it looks better I think when it's open and um, you've then obviously got the record player inside. So the record player, it's really cheaply made. I mean it's not, if you're after high fidelity sound you're not going to get it from this by any means. Um, it is just something that's quite a novelty item. Um, for occasionally listening to records. If you listen to some classic records, you know, such like Frank Sinatra and things like that, it sounds okay through these speakers. But I said that that the they're not good speakers at all. Um, it's not built for for that, that reason for actually for sound fidelity. It's just more more of a look thing. Um, inside that you know the record player hasn't even got a slip mat on it. So if you've got some records that are really precious to you, putting them on here may scratch them. Um, I don't know why they've done that. It's only got a slight bit of, well, it's not even rubber, it's plastic actually, on the outside, but there's nothing to protect your record, so you might want to put something on here if you've got records that you're, um, you know, you, you want to keep and stop getting scratched. Um, the turner itself, again, it's really cheaply made. It's got, it's, it's just, everything feels very cheap. It's very, very lightly made. It's only got one single switch to switch it on, um, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing else on here to actually show you because that's all it does. You just simply put the record head across and the record, like some record players, when it gets to the end it doesn't automatically swing back over again. You just have to literally manually lift it uh, and move it over to the side. Um, so it looks great, It's but I said other than that it's just a, a very cheaply made record player. Good for probably, you know, if a kid was listening to records and stuff but um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So from an audio point of view, what I've done, I've got it plugged in, so I use an audio out socket, which is, well, I use the headphone jack, and I plug that into some Bose speakers, so the sound sounds a hell of a lot better, but it's not, not amazing still because, you know, it's working via the actual head itself, which isn't great, but it sounds a lot better. Um, if you wanted to use this for, like, Bluetooth, so if you've got, like, a Bluetooth speaker, and you want to sort of um, get that going to it, I've bought one of these things from... Um, from, again from Amazon, I'll, I'll put a link to this as well. Um, it was only about I think £12 this and what it does you basically plug it into the headphone socket like so and it emits a Bluetooth signal. So this then goes to, we've got a, um, a Bose unit that this then goes to um, and it picks it up nicely, no problem synchronising it really and you can then get your music going from here to a, another unit and we've got that in the other room so that works really well. Again, the sound quality is amazing, but that's because of this device. It's nothing to do with this itself. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's uh, been enough for you to understand what this is all about and um, give you enough detail on, on it in case you're looking to buy this. As I said, for the price point, it looks good, it looks great, but from a sound quality point of view, you know, you wouldn't want to go for this if you're after something with a decent, decent sound. As always, if you've got any comments, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Cheers, guys.